Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealous 4 here bringing you guys more Man of 15 Ultimate Team, but today I'm gonna bring you guys some news instead of a game. Today I'm announcing a bye week. Yes, a bye week. Even though it's not on the schedule over here in the head to head seasons, you know, let me show you guys because I know some of you guys are gonna be like, there's a bye week? What the fuck? No, there's not a bye week, guys. I'm not trying to scare you here. Um, the thing is, is that I, I wanna call for a bye week. And what is this bye week, Joe? I wanna have like another off season. You know, I wanna take my days off like four days five days off uh gathering some coins doing some solo challenges collecting some badges for a large quick so i want to do that again and i uh, really need serious time into developing my team because if we all saw our first two games we lost and that's where we're like one and two right now and let's look at the history so you guys can see how much we lost by the first game b hop we could have won the game the problem was the defensive lineman just couldn't block there were some times, yes, I got sacked. There were some times where I couldn't run the ball, but my offensive lineman just wouldn't react. So, uh, yeah, that's why I couldn't progress in my offense. My defense was kind of asleep. Terrell Suggs literally needs to be replaced. My defensive lineman, they need to pass rush as fast as possible. Those guys need to re be replaced too. On my second game, beats men 1, 2, 3, 14 to 28. That game could have been good, but my defensive lineman kind of never reacted towards anything uh brandon browner got his ass burned several times i just know i just don't want him here anymore um what's another thing that i want to mention to you guys the only person who's pretty much awake on my defense is antonio cromarty an 83 overall cornerback that guy is the only one who has done interceptions on my defense he has like around a total of four interceptions the whole season i believe you guys might want to go back into my videos and see how many interceptions does antonio cromarty have so uh, on our last game, game number three, we won 21-14, but that's because our defense woke up like kind of late into the second quarter. I was like, why the hell don't you guys do that in the beginning? So the guy ended up quitting after we ended up doing like a 21 shutdown on the second half. You know, the third quarter and the fourth quarter, we ended up scoring 21 and answered points. So I don't know what's up with that, but um, still, I'm still not satisfied with my team. I'm still not satisfied with the win because I'm like, Okay, we won this one out of frustration. We know what to call now. We just need the right players for those positions. So let me tell you guys the struggle. What is the problem with my current team? All right, one of the biggest problems that my offense is facing right now will be the offensive lineman. These guys need to go, especially the left side. Look at this, Dwayne Brown, 85 overall, 86 overall, Kyle Nix. Yes, they do have uh, some kind of run blocking going on. It's just that it's not enough, as you can see. Uh, Dwayne Brown has 84 run blocking and 87 impact blocking. That's why you never see Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch go to their side. It's mostly I want to run to the right side. That's why you sometimes see like some good good ass runs on the right side because I have the right personnel for that kind of. As you can see, Anthony Davis over here has like some kind of a run blocking going on also, but it's not that major major because he can't pop him. So there's some things you know there's some pros and cons with the offensive lineman, but these guys on the left side they're having a struggle. I've seen that most of the time from the left side. Uh, Carl Nix, I know he can't even fucking pull. Even when I run the 0-1 out of the shotgun and the single formation, uh, the left guard just can't fucking pancake anyone. He's always missing his block, and that's what I'm starting to notice a lot. And, uh, you know, the first two games, and I was like, yeah, I need to replace Carl Nix ASAP. And that will be with the, tight, uh, with the left guard from the Tennessee Titans, I believe. But that guy costs way too much, but that's, what, that's where uh, the freaking large quick sell comes in place. And I'll explain a little bit more about that situation with the large quick sell. Uh, the centers, he's pretty much okay. I really don't see him blocking as much. He was on the right upgrade. As you can see, he does have 93 run blocking and 93 impact blocking, but low on strength. So that means this guy won't be able to hold him as much as he can't. But he can pop him, so that's kind of okay. He, he got that going for him. So uh, the center and Cal Long are the only ones that are going to possibly stay after I get the two large quick sells that I'm planning to get. The rest of the guys, Anthony Davis, Kyle Nix, and Dwayne Brown are going to go away. The tight end position, Jason Morrow, he's okay, but I want somebody better. I'm looking towards Gronkowski or Jamie Graham. Those two are my my next two pickups for the Tennessee, I mean for the Tennessee Titans, for the for the tight end you know, position, and uh, that will be a hell of an upgrade because I want somebody who can block and can, and can catch at the same time, but there has to be... That, that person has to be like a little bit fast, you know, with 83 speed, 84 acceleration. That's the lowest amount of speed I will accept as a starter at the tight end. But that guy got to have run blocking going on also with catching. 
So uh, Mercedes Lewis, the reason why he won't replace Jason Morrow is because he's super slow. But goddamn, he has a hell of a run block. So that's why you see me run out of single back, uh, double tight end. You'll see me run to the left side mostly because Mercedes Lewis can block. Let's take a look. Let's look at his run blocking. But the problem is that the left tackle on the left guard can't even fucking block. That's why you mostly see, you know, those defensive ends brushing in as fast as possible because Dwayne Brown can't fucking hold him. But you see Mercedes Lewis holding to his linebacker, you know, that's in front of his face. He's blocking really good, but the left tackle is letting go of the defensive end. That's why you see me getting tackled like behind the line. So uh, anyways, as you can see, he has 77 impact blocking and run blocking. He has 80 overall. So he's a good blocking tight end, but the problem is he is super slow. He's 6'6", six six, but he's super slow. I'll probably use him mostly in the goal line situations, like 20 yards to go or something. You know, this guy will probably pop in in those situations. But when it comes down to main passing offense, like from the yards from the 20 to the to the 50, this guy ain't going to appear. I need speedy guys out there when it comes down to the tight end position. Receivers, they're doing okay. The only person who's probably going to get replaced will be Cardell Patterson. He's going to be replaced with Emmanuel Sanders, pretty sure. I'm 100% sure. Once they get the large quick sell, Cordell Patterson will be the one of the first ones to go. He's doing okay, but the, I, I seen him drop some few passes here and there, and I'm like, okay, Cordell Patterson, maybe your time is up. Demarius Thomas, he tried his best on game number two, I believe, or game number one, um, where he got wide open because the guy kept on pressing, and he knows how to freaking you know prevent those press coverages, and he's pretty good at it. He has good amount of speed to get open. So, but the problem is that um. Actually, it wasn't the problem. It was Derek Carr's problem because he overthrew him a few times. And that's another person I want to mention to you guys. Derek Carr needs to be replaced by Troy Aikman ASAP or some somebody out there with over 95 throwing power. The problem is Troy Aikman has 94. So, I don't know. I'll think between Troy Aikman and Aaron Rodgers in the future. Because I know Aaron Rodgers, he's 89 overall, but he's still pretty good. I'll think about it, guys. The running back positions, Doug Bond and Marshall Lynch are doing okay. I'm going to leave them how they are for right now. I'll think about uh, Jamal Charles pretty soon, but so far as I know, the O-line is the first ones to go. They're the biggest problem right now on Season 3. I mean Season 3, on <laughs> Season 5. Uh, on defense, jumping into defense now, that whole defense alignment needs to go. It's also, Jadavion Clowney. Y'all love Jadavion Clowney on Season 4. This guy was a beast. He did like around 10 sacks in the whole season. I don't know how many sacks he did. I did a whole lot of highlight video of season 4. He appears mostly doing the sacks. Jadavion Clowney was a hell of a player. But when it comes down to season 5, when they ran to his side, he got burned. He was never in the backfield. I was like, what the hell, Jadavion? So Jadavion will be one of, them, one of the first ones to go and the rest of the D-line. Actually, the D-line needs to go. The D-line. Everybody needs to go. The DTs, uh, Suh and Short will be coming in. Those, de those two defensive tackles. The defensive ends, I'm looking towards Justin Tuck. And um, who will be the left end, though? I haven't seen any left ends. That's pretty good. Only Bennett and somebody else. I believe Evero. I need to look towards more of the left end also because there's a lot of people. Cameron Wake, that's his name. Cameron Wake will be probably coming into my team. I want fast defensive ends. You guys have seen them scramblers, Cam Newton, Kaepernick, Russell Wilson played against my team. I need quick off, quick defensive ends out there now. The DTs, I just want them to be super strong. Defensive ends, they need to have finesse now. I used to roll with power moves like how the Montremore has it, but I'm leaning towards more finesse moves now. So um, yeah. I need to I need to have fast defensive events now. The cornerback position, guys, the most highlighted position since season four or season three. I remember somebody did mention to me Brandon Brown needs to be replaced after season three, but I never did because he was doing so good still in those seasons. But <sighs> game number two, guys, he got his ass handed to him. Like he got burned by a five eleven receiver. He got he got scored on by Hula Jones twice. It's just a total embarrassment for him because he got the MVP award for season four. I gave it to him. I was like, yeah, this guy did fucking like nine interceptions in the whole season or something. I don't know how many he did, but he did a lot of them. He did more than the whole team. Like, it was just insane. But when now on season five, he's dead. He hasn't done crap. So, yes, guys, I will be replacing Brandon Browner right away. He will be the first one to be replaced. If I get over 200,000 coins on the large quick sell, this guy will be replaced.
I promise you guys, he will go away from you guys' nightmare. Because apparently everybody's nightmare is freaking Brandon Browner for you guys. So yeah, I'm listening to you guys. This guy will go away. As of Antonio Cromartie, I think I'm giving him a chance. But not that much of a chance though. I'm thinking of picking up DRC. Or somebody that's faster than him, but almost at six foot one. That would be Patrick Peterson. There's an 88 overall Patrick Peterson, and I might replace Antonio Cromartie with uh, Patrick Peterson, that overall. And uh, Brandon Browner will be replaced by, uh, I don't know who, but he has to have a lot of freaking overall or something because, damn, that side got burned so badly. So that the whole defensive lineman is going to go. The cornerbacks are going to be replaced, especially Brandon Browner. My safeties, Morgan Burnett, they still haven't get, gotten picked on. Except for Morgan Burnett, though, he hasn't been getting them tackles when it comes down to running situations when it comes down to the side. So, I don't know. Morgan Burnett is questionable, but it's not that big of a deal. Suggs and Luke Keekley. Suggs needs to get replaced. Literally, he needs to like, go away. I thought he was good, but he ain't good, guys. I don't recommend to buy him. Don't not waste your 20,000 coins on Terrell Suggs. He is not a good in coverage, man. I'm going to sign Von Miller, and for sure he's going to do a lot better. Levante David, he forces fumbles most of the time. He forces uh, drops from the receivers. Um, the thing is, I don't know, I just need a smarter linebacker, which will be Lance Briggs. Lance Briggs is still on the radar towards that position. You know, he needs to get in here and, you know, protect that side. I, I know he can protect that side a lot better than Levante David for sure. Um, but, um, but yeah, overall, Levante Day is not that big of a deal. It's only Luke Keekley, Terrell Suggs, and the whole defensive line, the cornerback positions, and that's it. Eric Reed and Burnett, they're not on the radar. They're not in the danger zone. They're okay for now. Maybe I can get Charles Woodson for over Eric Reed, but I don't know. I still haven't seen any problems with these two guys. A little bit from Burnett, but not that major. Special teams, they're okay. CJ Spiller and Joe McNagg are still going to be my returners, and Joe McNagg is going to be my punt returner. The reason I don't want to put Patterson is because he's my slot receiver, so I don't want to lose my slot receiver for the whole game. So that's why I don't put him. Unless Joe McNagg gets injured, he'll go in for him at one point. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Those are the replacements that I will be doing on this bye week, guys. Um, I'm not going to go away, definitely. I'm not going to be... Because I'm, I'm planning to go away for a week i'm not gonna i'm gonna be returning until monday of next week i'm playing games again if i have the right players but between that gap guys between today and monday we're gonna be doing large quick sales we're gonna be doing solo challenges and we're gonna be able to see what badges do we get you know how how are we getting you know all of these i'll be very detailed along the way guys new coaches new players new uh, badges Batch pack openings, large quick sales openings. I want to do two large quick sales between that time. I'm very dedicated, guys. I really want to win season five. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care, oh, your skills suck. No, I'm going to fucking win this fucking Super Bowl. So, um, yeah. It's going to be intense, guys. Not really intense, but kind of intense. So... Yeah, and I'll try to practice more offensive plays also. I need to develop my passing game. My passing game has been in a slump lately. I, I, don't, I believe I don't have a lot of passing plays. I have mostly run plays. I know every single run play from my playbook. My passing plays are kind of getting there. I, I'm, I'm discovering some new ones. I don't know if you guys saw that in game number three. I did do a play action that where it led Brandon Marshall and Square to be open on that curl route. It was pretty good. That was one of the few few times that I actually tested that play and it's actually working. So it comes in handy when it come, when people play like man coverage and stuff. I'll let you guys know when I do it. So that's it guys. If you guys want to see more Man 15 Ultimate Team, wait till Monday. But I'll, between the, the today and that Monday, there's going to be a lot of things going on guys. Off season style, off season mode. Large quick sell, new players, new auctions, new everything, guys. This team needs a clean house. So, you guys can already tell I'm a good manager of my team. <laughs> Imagine what would happen if I do a franchise, guys. I would, like, treat my team like a fucking, like a real team of real life, you know. So, anyways, I'm planning to do franchise, like, next month, maybe. I'll let you guys know, know more details about that. So that's it guys, leave your comments about your opinions about my team, how it currently looks. Because to me it looks like a disaster. I really don't want to continue with this team right now. So that's it, leave a like, leave a comment, and what's up guys, and I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more.